ECDL Advanced Access Lesson 1 Database Concepts Databases are used to maintain and retrieve data in various ways. They can certainly help to make an organization more streamlined and efficient. Many companies use database driven dynamic websites. This allows them to update prices and product information maintain online mailing lists, and lets their customers search the data. Examples are website content management systems that allow non-technical users to make changes and are used as a maintenance tool to create and manage web content. Databases can also be designed to be used as customer relationship management systems. Information is stored on current and prospective customers. It can be used to improve services to customers by targeted sales and marketing. Enterprise resource planning databases contain data for various business functions in an integrated form. For example, they can be used to control manufacturing, logistics, distribution, inventories, shipping and invoicing. OK, let's look at various database models. The specification describing how a database is structured and used is known as a database model. First, let's look at hierarchical models. These are one of the first models to be widely accepted and used. Records contain groups of parent-child relationships similar to a tree structure. This model is fast and simple to use, but inflexible because it only contains one-to-many relationships. Next, let's look at relational databases. In these, data is organized logically in a set of related tables. It can be accessed or reassembled in many different ways without having to reorganize the database tables. A relational database is relatively easy to create and access and is easy to add to. Finally, let's look at an object oriented model. In this example, data is represented by objects. Now, unfortunately, these models do not all support SQL, which we will learn about in Lesson 3. And so, they've got their limitations. Now, if you have an active internet connection, start your browser application and view the website www.ciatraining.co.uk. Let's use the links to search for information on any product. So we've got functional skills, ECDL essentials, and the one we're doing right now, which is the ECDL advanced. We'll notice that all the information that is presented, that's icons, description, content, etc., all of this is held on a dynamic database. So, as CIA Training release new materials, their database will be updated and the information will automatically be available immediately to users of the website. OK, if you close the site and also close your browser, we've reached the end of this lesson and in the next lesson, we're going to be discussing database development. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.